Hello guys, welcome back to Barcelona TV. Today's focus is on Donald Trump and Joe Biden's visit to Kenosha, Wisconsin, a crisis town city run by Democrats and how they handled matter rising during their visit this week. We will compare and contrast both presidents' aphorism. According to CNN, Trump did not address systemic racism during his visit to Kenosha. President Trump visited Kenosha, Wisconsin on Tuesday, going against the wishes of officials requesting he stay away from the city, which is still coping from the recent shooting of an unarmed black man by law enforcement and subsequent demonstrations that have turned deadly. President Trump did not meet with the family of Jacob Blake, the man who was shot in the back seven times by a police officer. Trump claimed that he is not meeting with Blake's family during his Wisconsin visit was because they wanted to involve lawyers. Let's pause for a minute and listen to what Mr. President has to say ahead of his Wisconsin visit. A lot of people are looking at what's happening to these Democrat-run cities and they're disgusted. They see what's going on and they can't believe this is taking place in our country. I can't Served believe it. criminal justice reform, I saved the historically black colleges and universities. What they went through is for years, including With Obama. funding. Uh, prison reform, criminal justice reform, next term, opportunity zone, uh, more of the same. And in fact, I actually said in the speech, uh, the best is yet to come. And I've been treated very well, at least in the polls. I hope, you know, I hope that translates because unfortunately, the African American, the black community has been so used to going and oppressing a Democrat lever. And what have they got out of it? They've got nothing. Obama didn't give him criminal justice reform. I did. Obama didn't give him opportunity zones. I did. Obama didn't do all of the things, didn't say Obama could have saved the historically black colleges and universities. He didn't do anything for that. He didn't do and anything. The response to the pandemic has actually been President Trump's greatest achievement. He was the one that closed off all travel at the beginning of February. Do you guys remember what was happening in January? There were no other elected officials that were even thinking about COVID because they were busy doing their impeachment. Joe Biden, he was the vice president for eight years. So why didn't they prepare for a pandemic? During the trip, Trump was asked by a reporter whether he thinks systemic racism is a problem in the United States, given that there are also peaceful protests around the country calling for an end to it. The president responded, well, you know you just keep getting back to the opposite subject. We should talk about the kind of violence we have seen in Portland and here and other places. The fact is that we've seen tremendous violence and we will put it all out very, very quickly, if given the chance, he continued. Trump is also largely sided with the message he's held on to since demonstrations spread across the country this summer, arguing that police violence is not a systemic issue and saying that the people of Kenosha will want law and order and want the police to be police. Trump's visit to the wing state marked another attempt to continue his campaign of linking Democrat-run cities and states to violence ahead of the November election in an attempt to paint himself as voters' candidate for law and order, according to CNN. His visit included surveying areas of the city damaged by demonstrations, touring an emergency operation center and a high school, and then holding a public safety roundtable. During the roundtable, Trump spoke at length about law enforcement and damage to small businesses, announcing that his administration will be providing millions of dollars in funding towards law enforcement, public safety, resources and small business relief in Kenosha and the state of Wisconsin. When asked about Blake's family, President Trump said he feels terribly for anyone who goes through what the Blake family has experienced. I feel terrible for anybody that goes through that. As you know, it's under investigation and I hope they come out with the right answer, Trump said. Let's take a minute and listen to what presidential aspirant Joe Biden has to say ahead of his visit to Kenosha. Clear, rioting is not protesting. Looting is not protesting. It's lawlessness, plain and simple. And those who do it should be prosecuted. Fires are burning and we have a president who fans the flames. He can't stop the violence because for years he's fomented it. But his failure to call on his own supporters to stop acting as an armed militia in this country shows how weak he is. Violence will not bring change. It will only bring destruction. It's wrong in every way. If I were president, my language would be less divisive. I'd be looking to lower the temperature in this country, not raise it. Donald Trump is determined to instill fear in America because Donald Trump adds fuel to every fire. This is not 
who we are. I believe we'll be guided by the words of Pope John Paul II, words drawn from the scriptures. Be not afraid. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. America has always been, and if I have anything to do with it, will be again generous, confident, an optimistic nation, full of hope and resolve. Donald Trump is determined to instill fear in America. Joe Biden totally behaves like a shadow president. According to CNN, while the storm was raging at 1,600 Pennsylvania Avenue, Biden has been doing his best to offer Americans a more traditional brand of presidential leadership. He delivered a speech in Pittsburgh on Monday condemning violence in all its forms. Rioting is not protesting. Looting is not protesting. Biden declared while making a straight call for social justice. He also offered condolences for the death of one of the president's supporters in unrest in Portland, Oregon. He held a presidential style forum on the national emergency in schools and colleges as a new academic year starts, stunted by COVID-19. Joe Biden followed Trump's Kenosha on Thursday, but actually spoke to Jacob Blake, the man gravely injured by police. He counseled the family and spoke about the need for reconciliation and police and social reform, shouldering the anger and fear in the country as a normal president might be expected to do. Biden spent the week trying to dispel the caricature of a Trojan horse for looters, rioters, anarchists and maniacs, with which he was labeled at the RNC and which Trump has put ever since. President Trump also visited Kenosha, the latest US city consumed by racial tensions and protests that turned violence following the shooting of a black man by the police. According to CNN, President Trump did not bring any reconciliation during his visit, which I feel it's not true. However, and appeared to shut down black pastors about to talk about racial injustice. More so, the CNN believe Biden's performance may have eased the nerves of some Democrats who appeared spooked by the discipline of the Republican convention last week. Good pulling helps too. Multiple national surveys show that Trump didn't get the convention bounce he needed given the fact that he's still trailing. The race appears closer in swing states, but Biden is well positioned everywhere, leaving the president with a growing problem given the fact that many states start sending out absentee ballots in the coming days and weeks. Judging from the way things are going, who in your opinion do you feel will see the light at the end of the tunnel? Please kindly leave a comment below and if you are new to this channel, hit the subscribe.